Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion XX12G. It's a 12-inch Newtonian reflector uh, on a Dobsonian base, but this isn't your average Dobsonian base. This is a fully robotic go-to telescope. So you punch in the object you want to see into the hand controller here. The telescope will robotically go to the object, it will find it, it will center it, and then it will continue to track as it moves through the sky using the motors uh, uh, built into the base. So you don't have to push it along by hand like a normal Dobsonian telescope. The telescope itself uh, is very portable. It, it looks like a large telescope, but unlike a, s a solid tube telescope, this has trusses on it. And this is a true eight-pole truss, so it's nice and solid. But the idea is you can disassemble the telescope using just the hand knobs here, here, and here, and one of the trusses comes off. You do that with all four. And now you've got the telescope into much smaller pieces. You've got an upper cage assembly, that's very light, a lower cage assembly, and then the base. And the base itself also uh, disassembles into two side panels, a front brace, and then the bottom uh, round base, all that need without needing any tools. So the idea is you can get this into a very small car and you don't need something large to transport it around when you want to go to the dark sky sites. Uh, even a small car works. The GoTo base features a hand controller here uh, that has 40-some thousand objects in the database, and it's all organized by catalog. So you've got the Messiers, of course, which are the best and brightest of the deep sky. You've got the NGCs, the IC catalogs, um, the moon, of course, and the planets are all listed in there. Um, if you don't know what you want to look for, there's a tour function, so it will suggest any number of different objects based on the time of night and the time of year. The DOB can be operated as a normal Dobsonian. I mean, you can move it around by hand as well. And there's tension adjustments here. This is the tension for up and down, so you can get the nice smooth motion that you want. There's another knob down in the center for the azimuth adjustment. Now, normally with a uh, go-to telescope, once you've done the alignment, uh, if you were to move it by hand, it would lose its alignment and you'd have to redo it. But this mount features a closed electronic, uh, closed loop system with encoders. So you move it around by hand over here to some object uh, that you wanted to quickly look at without punching it into the computer. Uh, then you can punch in the original object in the database and it still knows where you're pointing. So it will go back and it will never lose its position even when moving manually. The XX12G comes with several accessories to make your viewing experience uh, more pleasant. Uh, first of all, in terms of eyepieces, it comes with two. This is the low power two inch uh, eyepiece. That's a wide field of view, great for the big deep sky objects. It also comes with a 12.5 millimeter inch and a quarter. That's one down on the bottom uh, sitting in the eyepiece rack. It's an illuminated reticle eyepiece, so it's got a crosshair. So you can also use it for the initial alignment process to get the computer exactly aligned right on the stars that you're, uh, you're aiming for. The eyepiece sits in a two inch focuser and the focuser itself uh, is dual speed. So you've got course adjustment here, Let me unlock that, course adjustment, and then fine adjustment here for fine tuning the, the, the focus position itself. Also, finder scope. You usually only need that for the initial uh, uh, alignment procedure because the telescope will find everything for you. Uh, but let's say you wanted to move the scope around by hand, you can use the finder to, to aim it. Uh, it's a zero power finder, so you see a little dot floating in the middle of the field, put it right on the star you want to look at, and uh, away you go. So a 12-inch telescope can see all sorts of things in the night sky. Uh, not only moon and planets, I mean, you can see the rings of Saturn, uh, cloud bands on Jupiter, the moon is going to look like you're in orbit around it. But 12-inch sucks in a lot of light, so faint deep sky objects look great. Uh, first of all, the showpiece objects, uh, Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, are going to look fantastic. There's a lot of detail to be seen in those. Uh, but then fainter things as well, fainter star clusters, galaxies, nebula. There's thousands of objects within the range of a 12-inch mirror, so you're never going to be left wanting for uh, seeing things in the night sky. And a 12-inch can last you a lifetime. It's not something you're going to grow out of anytime soon. All right, so there you have it, the Orion XX12G go-to Dubsonian telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.